Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. And you are with me inside of 2002 Volkswagen Golf TDI. That means it's the turbo diesel version. And the reason we are here is that the owner said it very frequently gets in the limp mode. I wasn't asked to diagnose this problem yet, that will come later, but I'm so curious what's wrong with this one that I couldn't stop myself coming here with my scanner and do f few checks. The fact is that the check engine light is on, so I hook the scanner, I will start it up and let's see what we can read on the scanner together, right? Alright, so now the check engine light is not on, but if I will start driving it will go immediately on. I mean that happened on my test drives, on every single one of them. Now let's see what the normal generic craftsman scanner can find for us switch codes. So the check engine light appeared, it's there, it's in the dash and here we go. So it has only one code. I was thinking there will be multiple ones and this is P0103 mass or volume airflow circuit high input. Here you can see the code. Now let's go and look on the live data. step on the throttle, the data from the MAF, mass airflow sensor, changes correctly. Now normally when you have this code on the TDI Volkswagens, you basically lose the power, right? The symptom is loss of power. Now what could cause it? Well obviously it could be defective mass airflow sensor, the G70, right? Or it could be defective wiring or connectors. But, and this is what I want to bring up to you, to your attention, there could be also vacuum leak. If the entire system, the vacuum system doesn't work cor correctly, you will end up with loss of power too and this code might be triggered. It happened to me in past, took me very long time to you know find out what was the problem but at the end I found it. But you know let's go first together and confirm that this vehicle really has no power and the turbo is not working correctly. Let's go. Let me step around this OBD cable first, so I don't get stuck in it. Oh, here we go. Let's go. And let's see how this vehicle performs. definitely doesn't work. I'm in the neighborhood here, so I don't want to drive too fast, but I will take it on the main road. Let me pause the camera. And here we go. I will be able to hit it here. So first, but most importantly, second. Look. This is nothing. 
third floor it's barely moving I'm still at 50 will I ever get to 60 now it's 60 miles per hour well this is definitely not working and this confirms that this engine is not powerful we could say loss of power or it's in the limp mode Either way, it's not working correctly. Let's go back. Okay, I will be talking while we are heading back. So, this code comes up on the forums and of course there's a million things to check. And ideally you have a back comm, so you have the hook the whole computer and you watch the multiple stuff what is happening, the data, what is happening in the engine, right? I had the same situation, this is 2002 Golf, I had the same situation in past happen on the Beetle, it was a Volkswagen Beetle, TDI, 5-speed, was losing power, it will be coming in the limp mode especially driving uphill where it's under heavy load, right? I couldn't find a problem. I wish I wrote down what was the code, but I forgot that I didn't do that. But the code was either the same one or something similar. It was by electronics something. Just couldn't find it. And then somebody finally suggested, well, your vacuum system correctly in the order because in this case the, the code which you are getting might be kind of misleading it, it brings you some direction and you can clean the map or replace it and the code is there exactly the same you have the correct voltage the PCM is sending correct voltage to the sensor all these things are okay and you have still the loss of power, right? Well, I finally got that idea from the person who had experience with this and I started checking my vacuum, right? And sure enough, I applied a gauge and was measuring certain areas and that was intermittent problem. So, I started moving all kinds of vacuum lines to find a crack or something broken. Well, I finally made it all the way to the vacuum pump itself and that huge outlet which feeds the brake booster and sends the vacuum also the other way. Well, what I found out was, if I wiggle it, there was a huge leak right where it was connected to the vacuum pump. That the rubber hose, there was a huge vacuum leak when it was being moved around. So, at that time, I didn't replace that connector but I just put the heat resistant some sealant on it boom the problem was solved and it never happened again until I sold the car so it was perfect solution and it was vacuum related so let's go right now together and see if there is chance that this thing is happening to this car now I'm back I just want to explain I didn't clear this code and I'm not doing repairs because at this moment I'm not authorized to do that I'm just making video for you to give you one of possible reasons when you are ending up in this situation with your TDI so here we are under the hood it's raining so I'm really under the hood saving the camera here is the vacuum pump right the connection on it in my 99 Beetle was a little bit different but look right here that's the main vacuum supplier for the brake booster down there and also the supply 
in the vacuum for the rest of the system. Now, I should remove this hose just really quickly, this one, to show you perfectly what's going on here. So the hose removed, way better visibility, and now look with me what I exactly expected. Right? This is the supply of vacuum, the main supply. Look, this clamp is broken. And actually, when I was pulling this hose right for you to, to show you this, this whole thing fell off. So there's absolutely no good connection. The whole vacuum barely sits there. And I bet you, I bet money on this, that this 99%, this is the problem. And that's why there's loss of power and that's why there is the code. As I said, I'm not authorized to fix it today, but I'm pretty sure the owner will hire me for this in the future. So definitely stay tuned, because I have way more videos about this coming your way soon. See ya.